Hi guys, welcome to the Film Photography Channel. Let's take a look at the Nikon L35 AF. So this little camera was introduced in 1983 and has a bit of a cult following. Uh, there's a lot of people that absolutely love this camera. Uh, it's, it's a camera that you can buy fairly inexpensively. It's built really well. It's very reliable. And sure, true enough, it's a uh, you know, plasticky type of uh, typical 80s and 90s camera. But at the uh, end of the day, it's got great optics and it's a fun and very easy camera to use. This little guy was nicknamed Pikaishi by uh, Nikon. Pikaishi means top notch. Okay, so this little um, plasticky, wonderful Nikon uh, compact camera uh, pretty much does it all. It's It's got a built-in flash that you can see here. It's auto-focusing. It's, um, it's got a five-element lens, a Nikon lens, which is multi-coated and a really, really sharp uh, lens. Uh, the uh, metering is done through the uh, filter there's you know the, the metering cell is right there so if you put on a polarizer uh, polarizing filter yellow filter whatever for black and white you're all you're set to go and the meter will will respond accordingly a lot of these cameras didn't have filter threads this one actually does um, which is a bonus um, Nikon when they released the L35 AF they changed it uh, you know, during the production run, towards the end of the uh, production cycle, uh, Nikon changed, um, they added uh, the capability to go to uh, ASA 1000 or ISO 1000, where the cameras in the beginning of the run only went to ISO 400. This particular one goes all the way up to ISO 1000, so if you're, if you're shopping for one of these, kind of keep that in mind that they're, they're all going to be called the L35AF, but they don't all go to, to ISO 1000. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, this is an auto everything. It auto focuses. It's really, really accurate. Uh, you have this uh, this needle that runs across the bottom of the viewfinder that shows you like the, you know, the torso, and like two people, a group of people, you know, the little silhouettes and then the, the mountains or whatever to show that you're focusing out uh, into infinity. The uh, viewfinder is decent. Um, it's, uh, it's not the brightest, but it's certainly okay it's you know it's not great it, but it's okay um, just to show you the body a little bit um, very simple like I said this camera does it all uh, you don't really have a, any a lot of input into uh, you know how the camera operates you got your power switch up here uh, this shutter <laughs> this shutter button actually uh, it you know it, it's got a huge throw okay it's got a huge press when you when you press it down the first thing that happens is the autofocus you could probably hear it kicking in there. That's the camera autofocusing, and most cameras would have taken the picture if you press the shutter button this far. The shutter button goes down a lot, you know, probably a good half inch uh, before it'll actually take the picture. Um, and you, as you saw, the if the lighting conditions are dim enough, then the flash pops up automatically. Uh, one thing this camera does really, really well is fill flash. So if you want to, uh, you know, use fill flash outdoors, and obviously it's going to be too bright, just cover the lens up you know, uh, somewhat like that. You'll get the, the flash pops up and then the camera takes over from there. This camera does perfect fill flash, okay? It's, uh, you know, it's just like, uh, uh, it, it just does it right. You know, when you're, when you're outside and you need just enough flash to fill in the shadows, uh, this, this camera will, will do it and it'll do it just right. Okay, on the back here, this is where you open your, you know, the, the film door. And this is a the series of lines here moves to let you know that the film is is actually correctly um, uh, correct you know moving correctly. A uh, little thumb grip here, tripod socket, uh, which I believe is a plastic tripod socket. This is your re rewind button. You press in uh, the button first, and then you slide the switch, and then it'll it'll rewind. And uh, one thing I do like it it leaves the uh, the film leader out by default I don't think that can be changed um, but it uh, you know so, so you're, you're it just makes it that much easier to, when it's time to process okay it's got a uh, electronic self timer and pretty typical for for its day it'll it'll just uh, blink there and take the picture after about 10 seconds 
All right, it's right now it's pointing directly into this kind of a bright light, so that's why the flash didn't kick in. Um, yeah, on the back, I'll show you again the uh, the flash charging light, and it definitely doesn't charge that quickly. It takes about five or six seconds to charge. Only reason it came on right away is because it's, it's already been charged. Um, the uh, neck strap is kind of cool. Pretty nice quality, actually, on the neck strap. It uh, and the camera hangs sideways, which I, I kind of like. There's a few other cameras of of this of this type that you know was kind of set up the same way. Canon had an AF M35, I think it was called. It looked really similar to this camera. Uh, they were at least years apart, but um, they they had a pretty similar look. As you see, Nikon kept the uh, the red. Uh, stripe here that they had in there uh, starting with the f3 um, and again there's uh, there's not a lot of ways to manually control this camera way there's there's a uh, slide on the side here you just hold this down and it uh, offers you uh, two stops of backlight compensation so it's pretty simple you just hold this down and, and you know while you're taking the picture and then you, you got plus two stops of, uh, of backlight the uh, one thing you can do with the focusing, for example, is you can lock you can lock your focus, and and then recompose. Uh, that's one way to control focus. You're not going to get a lot of bokeh from this camera. It's a 35 millimeter f 2.8 lens, so it's kind of a wide angle, uh, moderate wide angle. Uh, so there's not going to be a lot of bokeh there. But it's uh, if you get close to the subject, and and you're you know the cameras opened up at 2.8 you can get some um, another way you can manually control the camera is through the uh, ISO dial if you for example if you've got uh, I've got 400 speed film in there if I want to uh, overexpose a stop or two I just you know put it on 200 uh, it'll provide more light to the film and conversely if I want to provide less light then you just up the uh, you know up it to I don't know 800 or something uh, and you do have a little latitude since this ISO dial actually goes up to 1000. So th it's a really straightforward camera. There's not a whole lot, um, you know, that, that you can do, but it does take really good pictures. Uh, the bottom line with this camera is it's got a great lens. It's a five element Nikon lens, multi-coated. Uh, it's got a great focusing system. It's very, very accurate. There's just a center point there in the middle. Um, so it does a, a really good job in focusing. And pretty, pretty typical for this type of camera. It's a little noisy. I mean, you can hear the focusing, which isn't terrible, but you hear the uh, the film advancing there. So the first thing that's happening, the camera acquires focus, and then takes the photo, and then and then advances the film. Um, what when the uh, here I'll show you before the flash is charged. You see, you can't, you cannot press the, uh, you can't press the shutter release. Shutter release doesn't work, and this gives you an idea how long it actually takes to charge normally. But now that the the flash is charged, you can, you can press it. Um, another thing you can do, even though right now it needs the flash, you see, when I push the flash down, then this is a way to force the flash off, and it'll, although it, it determined that flash is needed for this, you know, this lighting situation. It, uh, the fact that I pushed it down is not going to re-engage the flash. So that's another method that, of manual control. So that's about it. This is a wonderful, plasticky little uh, Nikon camera. Gets the job done. Great optics. Really, really accurate metering and focusing system and great fill flash. So go out and get you a Nikon L35 AF.